Hello, I'm so glad you're watching. Today I'd like to talk to you about values, specifically core values. For the past 12 years, I have ventured on a project that I call my values project, where I try to identify my six core values and then live by or focus on a different one each month for six months. And then I repeat the cycle. I call that a second chance. Lately, I have been hearing the message urging me to share this with others. The truth is that we don't know how much time we have left. I recently lost two very close friends, and this week I lost my job. The time has never been better for me to share this with others. This is what I have to say. My values project is an attempt to live intentionally by and from my core. I'm going to show you how to do that now. All you need to get started is a piece of paper, ideally a notebook, and a pen or pencil. And you're going to divide the paper in half with a line lengthwise. On one side at the top you're going to write dreams and on the other side you're going to write values. Underneath you're going to write one through six so I'm going to show you right here. And this is pretty much what it looks like. Nothing crazy or too fancy about this. So for this next part, I definitely recommend pausing the video. Um, it's very straightforward. You want to imagine six things that you would do if you had unlimited time, money, and energy. I think that money is a function of our time and energy. And so we really want to be thinking about what we would do if we had an unlimited stream of all three things. And it could be big or small. Uh, it's kind of similar to a bucket list, but it's a little bit different because you only want to think of six things and they can be big or small. Um, and then that's it. The next part is a little bit more complicated. Essentially, you're going to go through each of the six things that you identified that you would do if you had unlimited time, money, or energy, and then ask yourself the question, what does this mean to me? What is the meaning behind it? Why is this important? Why does this fire me up and get me going? And why is it motivating to me? And you want to try to translate that into a social value. So a value is something that we reflect through our choices and actions but they ultimately impact more than just you. Uh, values are kind of what connects us in a pretty positive way. So for example, some of my core values are creativity, adventure, self-improvement, actualization, generosity. So really take the time to translate your dreams into your core values. This last section is pretty easy. All you have to do is assign a month per value. So if you've identified six values, you want to take them one at a time over the course of the next six months. And I know that it seems like, oh my God, six months, that's such a long time. But really, once you get it up and going, it takes very little effort. I always like to say you get out what you put into it. So the more effort that you put into this, probably the more you're going to get out of it. But even if you're just doing one small thing every month to try to strengthen that part of your core, you're gonna see the benefits. So that is where I will leave you for today. I really hope that you're interested in doing this project with me. Um, I would be happy to hear your feedback. Please uh, leave me comments, ask me questions. Um, I'd be more than happy to help you sort of translate some of your values. I'm going to uh, be including some links uh, to a list of values, also to a website that focuses on values called passiton.org. Uh, I'm also creating a GoFundMe if you would like to donate to this research project. 
Uh, if not, that's totally cool too. Um, I'm going to be making future videos um, more specifically diving into certain values that I have been practicing, that uh, I have been experimenting with, and giving my feedback and reflections on uh, my experiences more specifically. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day.